Nearly 100 people riding across Illinois this week as a way to honor police officers killed and raise money for their families. This is actually the 20th annual cycle across Illinois. First Lord for Shoshana Stahl has the story of one rider and a family benefiting from this organization. And we do this year after year to remember the fallen. Honoring and remembering police officers killed in the line of duty. That's what the cycle across Illinois riders are doing for the next four days. Former officer Kurt Keebles has been with the ride since it started 20 years ago. For me, I was able to end my career alive. My father did too, and my brother's just ending his career. There's a lot of families out there that weren't so fortunate, and it's important that we, we take care of them. It's all centered around the organization Illinois Concerns of Police Survivors, or COPS, giving back to families of officers killed in the line of duty. They have been there at some of our hardest times. Kelsey Washburn's family is one of them. Three years ago, we lost my uncle in the line of duty. He was shot and killed in Champaign, Illinois, uh, Officer Chris Oberheim. And this organization has been everything to our family. Starting in Edwardsville today, more than 90 riders will make the 320 mile trek to Chicago, spending the next four days cycling across the state. Keeble says so far, the organization has raised over $220,000. The money goes directly back to Illinois cops for all the survivors uh, benefits like kids camps, uh, siblings camps, uh, getting people to National Police Week. For the 20th year, the riders will be reading the names of every officer killed in the line of duty in Illinois over the last two decades. Washburn's family is cheering riders on along the way and even having some participate. They've kept up with us three years later, and I feel like this event is our, our way to support them the way that they have supported us. Families, departments, and community members are all encouraged to do the same. In Edwardsville, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4.